Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary. This one's a little bit different because I'll be talking about something that some may see as controversial or glitching. So I'll be sharing my opinions on Horde as a whole and how it's changed over the years. I'll also be mentioning Gears of War speedruns and the general fun factor of it all. So let's start briefly with how Horde used to be played. Back in Gears of War 2, when Horde was first introduced, you had nothing to buy and no fortifications to build. The best two things you could ever use was a torque bow and a boom shield to camp in the spawn by blocking a hallway. But this was challenging because there were so many good maps and enemies that didn't allow for this type of stuff. So you had to get creative and learn the maps, which helped a lot in Versus as well. Then in Gears of War 3, we had base building and mutators, basically starting the trend of speedruns and boosting. Super active reload allowed for insane amounts of damage, even on insane, and big explosions made sure that your boom shot and digger nuked this shit out of anything. Now playing a whore with or without mutators was a completely different experience. And I liked that a lot because you had so many gameplay options to choose from. But now we have Gears of War 4 Horde, which I've also been playing since launch. Obviously I'm speaking for myself, but after leveling several classes to max, I feel like it all becomes a little too easy, even on insane. It feels like you're more reliant on one set of skills or fortifications rather using an arsenal of weaponry and actual gameplay skills. And whenever you find a group of decently capable players, even the lowest of ranked classes can defeat Insane using the same exact setup as the higher levels. Now one of the issues is that the payout on Horde is so much bigger than Versus, that 9 out of 10 times players decide to do speedruns only. And to put things into perspective, 6 to 7 hours of consistent Versus gameplay equate to 1 hour of Horde on Insane. So can you imagine how much time it saves you just doing speedruns and nothing else? But what about the fun fact? In my opinion, speedruns are incredibly boring. Simply because there is so little variation in enemies or setup. It's all about blocking the spawns and setting up a kill box. And once you've done that, it's done and dusted. There's nothing else to do. I genuinely hope that with the coming of the Rise of the Horde, Horde itself gets an overhaul that turns its repetitive camping nature into a more dynamic experience. I want it all to go back to a little bit Gears 2, Gears 3 vibe, where you could spawn camp or you could camp somewhere on the map, but the enemies were so good at, at overwhelming you that your base actually gets put in danger. On Gears of War 3, you used to have a berserker that would just run right in and destroy all your fortifications. And if you died, then you lost everything. And it was even harder. These days, we don't really have that anymore. So in short, I would say I wanted to go back to where we had to learn our enemy strengths and weaknesses and go from there. So those are my thoughts on the way Horde is currently played. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. Make sure to like the video and share it with your friends. I hope you have a great day and till next time.